In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my recent favorites. I'm also gonna share how I made these masks because someone asked me and it's just way more easy to explain it in a video. Hello, my name is Amy and on this channel, we're all about making the savviest and stylish decisions around luxury fashion. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I'm definitely no strangers to supplements. I've been taking them for the last decade, mainly for health maintenance and it really does help with my joint and inflammation issues. And I recently started trying this one, which is from Teamy. This one is called the Greens Superfood Blend with matcha, spirulina, and wheatgrass. Those are the main ingredients, but they actually have a lot of the different green superfood complex such as chlorophyll, cholera, spinach, broccoli, kale, kelp, rocket leaf. So I'm gonna keep on taking this one for the next month and then report back. Taste-wise, I find it just very neutral, nothing special, it's not sweet at all, it's just a little bit tasting like a cross between matcha and spirulina if you guys have had spirulina in the past you would know exactly what i mean so it's it can taste a little bit muddy um if you use too little liquids because i usually use less liquid so that i can chug my green powders but I, then i chase it with juice if you guys want to give it a try i have a 20 percent coupon code i'm gonna link it down below but when timmy sent me this they also wanted to send me their tumbler which i told them that i don't need in fact i'm trying to avoid plastic containers which i have been i kind of stopped buying plastic containers so instead they sent me this beautiful tea infused repair oil which i'm actually so glad that they did because i really really like this product so i have only used it for three nights so far but it's Okay, the scent, I just have to say, is so incredibly nice. It's made with chamomile flower, so it's infused with chamomile flower, as you can see in the bottle. Maybe you can see the, uh, the, all the floaties on the top. It is a two ounce bottle, so 60 millimeter. You can use it all over your skin, your body, and your neck. It comes with a uh, dropper like that. This oil is supposed to repair and heal damage skin naturally especially with helping fading uh, acne scars and spots and fight breakouts which i think is working even though it's only been three days and i don't know what it is maybe it's a combination of my changed skin care which i'm going to talk about too so over the summer i've had like really bad sort of breakouts on my forehead and well mostly on the forehead but also the t-zone so like around the chin and even like uh, just like the t-zone basically i'm pretty sure it's mostly due to the stress of not having a kitchen uh, but it also didn't help that it was the summer but now that it's transitioning into cooler weather my skin is already changing and i'm noticing that it's starting to get dry again so i'm definitely not getting the really oily t-zone anymore which i never even used to get so it's very, very strange. Like I said, I don't really change my skincare very often. And when I do change something, it's one product at a time. So this is the one product that I really did change as a moisturizer. And it is from a Canadian company. They also do a lot of beautiful products, very sort of uh, nutrient-based and organic. And it is called Broco Fusion by Nuco Sulforaphane lotion a little bit goes a long way and so far it has helped with kind of calming down my skin and bringing it back to the the normal state that it used to be and i also find that this oil has been helping as well because like i said with the weather changing already i'm noticing a lot of dryness around the eye area on top and on the bottom after even using it for three days i've noticed that these scars around here especially the ones that were on the corner of my mouth they were very very hard to go away and then all of a sudden i used this and it kind of just faded from a lovely subby jojo so she gifted me this a while ago le beige a spf 30 tinted moisturizer and it is very very light and so easily blendable i have been wearing this underneath my makeup but i also have been wearing this alone without any makeup on my face because on those days i just needed that sheer glow so beautifully scented and i'm just so so happy to be using chanel on my skin again i have not for a while but i just uh, but it just really, really reminded me of how beautiful their skincare and makeup 
products are. So thank you so much, Jojo, for this. My next favorite is kind of inside of this little shopping bag, which I received in the mail, and I was shocked when I unboxed it. Uh, so my beautiful and smart, gorgeous, funny friend, Kat L, and also partner on our live stream show, she sent me this. She's not only funny in person, but she's also funny even like in her gifting. Like there's notes everywhere inside the card, on the back of the card, inside the envelope. It's just like so, so, so cute and so thoughtful of her. And I truly want to say, babe, that I really honor you as a friend, as a person, and as uh, someone of integrity. And I'm just so honored to be your friend and to be working with you on our live show. I'm so glad that you're my partner. And this gift just literally shocked me. I did not expect this. These beautiful ribbons, I'm actually going to reuse them as well. I might end up making more masks with these ribbons. I already have some, but these are the thin ones. So I always kind of just play around with designs and everything. So it came in this beautiful cute box and it is definitely my first mitza from Dior. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe, <laughs> I could not believe it. It's so, so pretty. This beautiful cream color silk mitza with my initials on it. And apparently this is part of an old collection. So last year's collection and it's going to be discontinued going forward. So thank you so much, babe. I am so, so excited. I kept it all nice and unwrapped because I wanted to show it on this video. Uh, but just imagine how beautiful it's going to be looking on my <laughs> Lady Dior. <laughs> The color is just so neutral and perfect for this bag or she even said I could use it on my future Birkins. <laughs> Definitely a favorite but not just because it's a Dior item but because I honor our friendship and her as a person so so much. So the next luxury item that I'm gonna feature is my Gabrielle Hobo bag. A really beautiful fall color. I have been wearing it lately because of well fall. Highly recommend the Gabrielle bag still of course. Um, this size or the size up from this. So the size small or the new medium I would highly recommend and in fact if you want a burgundy this season 20k is when you should get it because the season right now is so similar to this one and um, yeah i feel like you can't go wrong with this shade of burgundy every year up next are a few pieces of clothing in fact are you guys liking this cardigan that i'm wearing i definitely feel like this season is not only the burgundies but also the uh, green and lavender colors they're so beautifully complementary and this one is another one from Zara this is such a beautiful knit and I feel like I really do need to do a proper Zara haul because although I am trying to avoid fast fashion but this season I am not joking Zara is doing so so well of course you still have to pick and choose but their items and their designs and even the materials that they're using as of late, if you pick and choose, you can really get some really nice pieces. So this is another one of them that I grabbed. It's this kind of oversized cardigan. It does have a bit of wool and angora in it. So it is a wool blend, especially for transitional weather. I like just wearing the summer clothes underneath still because I don't want to get out of summer clothing yet. But I just put on a chunkier knit or a blazer and then my outfit is kind of more transitional so i've been loving loving this short here as well as these pair of pants here which are the baggier style kind of like the paper bag style almost which is also very trendy right now and these are all linen custom made to your sizing in fact my favorite piece is this pair of shorts because the color is so beautiful and like i said finding shorts that really fit me to the T with my narrow hips is so difficult. Yellow gold plated ring with faux pearls and it matches so well with my Chanel bracelet, which is something that I'm so glad that I picked up because I end up wearing this bracelet so much. And then also from the same company, Julia, this is another ring that um, you might remember, you might not, but it's so cute. It's kind of just like a, um, 
it's a two it's actually a two ring set so you can wear them individually or you can wear them together and i tend to just wear them uh, together and you can face them any way you want you can kind of put them side by side like this as well so when you wear it together it looks like you have a really big ring uh, it looks kind of almost like a cocktail ring this is also rhodium plated on silver this one is gold plated on silver the next two items have more to do with productivity so this is a uh, power bank and it's really really nice and thin from ideal of sweden and this is a cable also sold separately but i uh really really love their stuff because they have really pretty designs i have mine here in the antique rose design and i have the max phone the 10s max and this is the size and the width of the chargers so as you can see it's pretty slim and it's really really streamlined and it's very lightweight which is I actually find that Ideal of Sweden, although they are very pricey, um, they really just elevate your tech gadgets to the next level and they make them so pretty looking that you kind of just want them because they look beautiful, but they are also very functional and very well made. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably would have seen the uh, coupon code that I shared. Unfortunately, it's already expired, I think, but uh, whenever I can, I will always either try to get those coupon codes to you guys right away on my Instagram or if I can get them in a video on time, I will definitely also include it. So the next item that I've been really, really enjoying is this Paul Friedrich desk mat in leather. I featured them a while ago in my work bag video. So if you guys have not seen it, definitely have a watch. But this mat is just beautiful. I especially like the larger size. So having had both now for a while, I definitely recommend the larger size because as long as your table is big enough to fit it, which I think both tables are, it really just creates this canvas and workspace. And because you kind of have to clean your table to put it on the first time, you just tend to want to keep the space clean going forward, which is something that I've kind of just mentally been doing ever since I got this beautiful mat on top. I just don't want any clutter. And not only that, it's just really comfortable for your wrists, for your hands and for your arms to sit on top. Another productivity favorites that I wanted to share is an audiobook called Five Second Rule. In fact, it doesn't have to be the audiobook, but it's just easier to listen to it than to read it if you don't have time, especially if you want to multitask, which I tend to do a lot. So even when I'm sewing or falling asleep, or just waking up and getting ready, I tend to put an audiobook while I'm doing it. I know it's not the best way to absorb material, but I try to listen to it over and over and over anyway. It is a really, really good book if you're into self-development and if you're um, needing a little bit of a push to especially help with um, um, just in improving your habits and uh, eliminate procrastination and, um, just really applicable to many, many situations in life. So I highly recommend this audiobook. If you've never tried Audible's before, I do definitely recommend it. And you can even try it for 30 days uh, for free. So I'm going to have that book linked down below. It's one of my favorite pastime um, and something that I just really enjoy doing. It's kind of relaxing for me and it relaxing because I think I am someone who likes to sort of think uh, and not only um, make use of my hands but also I like to kind of think about designs and how to modify it to make it better it's just something that I enjoy doing I'm definitely an analytical person but I'm also kind of creative in a way so the two kind of mesh together so I've been making these masks and I actually found this mask pattern on a YouTube video it's this really lovely Japanese couples they posted a lot of different mask videos so they've always been kind of um innovating and just you know creating all kinds of designs some of them are quite crazy so anyway these are the ones that I ended up making so I did modify their pattern to make these because I find that this fits my face better and if you have a flatter Asian face such as mine it really really does work so their initial one or their original one uh, will actually look more like this so it will have kind of more of a curved pointy sort of um, pattern it's still 3d so as you can see it's 3d uh, and what i love about this mask or their original one is that 
because it's 3D and it kind of curves in or it points out, your mouth is not constantly touching the mask. Even your nose, it's not constantly touching, like not right here. Unlike some of the more simple ones, they might just stick to your face constantly, whereas this one at least it doesn't stick right there, it doesn't stick to your face constantly. So when I saw that, I really liked the design. Not only that, it's because this is a three layer design with an optional filter pocket, which is why I liked it more even because uh, even though it is more time consuming to make this kind or like a 3D kind with three layers and every seam is hidden and everything, uh, it's just more user friendly. I also sewed the elastic directly onto the mask itself because I don't like it when it moves around and I don't like it when it bunches up. That's just my personal preference, but you can just follow that tutorial to the T if you want to make this exact one. Like I said, this exact one is just a little bit pointy. I feel like this would be better for a face that has a bit more of a structure. So I modified it to be kind of still 3D, but straight across. So instead of having that point, that dip and that point, I just made it straight across and everything else, I almost left it as is. So I kind of kept the original design, but of course with the, with the design label, I just kind of just play around. The next ones that I'm gonna make, I'm gonna try making some black ones with your ribbons because I kind of ran out of elastics. Uh, I ran out of black, black elastics. I ran out of pink fabric. But yeah, so this is the design that I ended up making and it will look like this. And so I made with some Chanel ribbons from the holiday collection from last year. I made some pink ones with the LV labels. I also made it in this beautiful teal color with the old ribbon. So uh, this is the first one that I made, like I said, with the traditional Chanel ribbon. So this is the original one that I made. So if you're into sewing and you end up making them, definitely show me on your Instagram. Uh, but what I ended up doing is definitely go to that video, watch it, and download their pattern, which they did include as a PDF. But instead of cutting it in this exact um, design, which is the original, I just, the only, the only modifications that I did is that I just cut it straight across here. So the first time I made it, I, I made this one using this pattern, but with all these other ones that I made, the only modifications that I did was here. I just cut it straight across. So instead of cutting your fabric like this, just cut it straight across like this and you'll be able to make the exact same one that I made. So the same sort of folding, reversing, the same way you would stitch um, these corners on these two sides to make it 3D. It's just that mine is straight across instead of having that dip. If you're into sewing or if you know how to sew, then it should be pretty straightforward and easy to understand. If you're kind of a beginner, then maybe it's a little harder because this one is a little bit more complex and there's several different layers and it does take some time. My hands were actually hurting because I do have arthritis, so uh, every time I could only make maybe one or two <laughs> per day. And even then, like it takes me forever to make one just because once you start a new project, I always kind of play around the different ribbons and different people have different sizes. This mask is for smaller size faces, but even if you have a slightly larger face, as long as it's not super large, all you have to do is just make the elastic a bit longer than it will accommodate. But unless you have a very manly, big, big face, then you might have to make it a bit bigger. So you might have to redesign the pattern for your face. I'm gonna link every single item that I discuss, and if I have any coupons to share, I will also link it down below. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, definitely subscribe. I would love to have you back. Check out some more videos on this side, and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.